once upon a felony. You go visit the people you met in there and you see how they're doing a decade later. You make some art with them and you make this movie. This is going to be about a bunch of friends hanging out and talking about what it was like to go to prison and come home. Okay, you, you can tell me. I'm kind of scared though. Alright, so I just pulled up. I'm meeting my co-defendant for the first time in a really long time. I'm a little nervous, but it should be good. When's the last time you drew something? I lost it. <laughs> Probably inside. Probably a couple decades ago. <laughs> okay, so my question is if there's anything from your story that is like this topic involved that you would want to share with other people, what would it be? that whatever you go through isn't you. Like, everybody go through shit. Some people don't get caught for the shit they do. Some people do. You know what I mean? This is so cool. I love how the bars are coming out. Make sure you make like a little handle because then it makes it look more like a door. Did you see my truck that I made? Like with the jail cell in the back? Like bars, jail bars. She had created a, uh, an actual cell, a, a prison cell inside the truck with a bed, the sink. It was incredibly powerful. I mean, it made it, 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 it's making my, my hair stand up now. And she was sitting behind the, she was in the cell, and it just to give uh, people a sense of what it's like to be in that small ass space, to live in that little tiny space in a cage. It was, it was incredibly, incredibly powerful. Deep in that art therapy right now. <laughs> it's Jack. Huh. What? The way I flipped that shit, it was so gracious. Uh, like grace is so graceful, but it is amazing. I used to have the keys to the days. No days off. I stay in this, then I'll take off. Like made off. Got me feeling like I made off. The ticket came home to get the bag, and I ain't prayed off. They hear them trade talk, start thinking about the lake show. The rape though, the stars above the ceiling ain't the lake show. Like show these pace yourself. Give me that face slow. Get ready for the pace show. I'm like Vincent Van Gogh. But I've been patient learning. The things that I ain't know, like how he do it in his time, and I should just be grateful. That's why I'm thankful. No, I ain't got a thankful. So really humbling yourself, like, look, I just got to start from the be the beginning. Like, here we go. <laughs> like. <laughs> How many times was it just like one day at a time though for you? A lot. It is one day at a time. But in the moment, it looks slow. But when you look back, you're, you're like, like oh, oh, snap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have been doing things. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. My vision's going a house and stuff immediately for when, when women are released and, um, Clothing, breed, like you said, a book of resource, like resource, like different things. You know what I mean? That way. So something immediate. Well, when you were released, you didn't get any sort of book like that, right? Because I, I get definitely. Nothing. nothing, right? Just bye. Yeah. Bye. I'm Listen, remember, if we, if, we, if we held, touched this before, we was, we was going down. <laughs>
I've never held one of these before. No, definitely not. That's I've definitely how I never felt. held one of these ever. You wish you had met Yo, your son is reading so well. Exactly how you plan on walking where you meant to go. All right, what's your choice? Yeah. <gasps> I forgot to do the pants. Let me Can ask you something. Play? Yeah. Did you know that mommy's been to prison before? No. You have? Mm hmm. I don't think I've ever told you that. Why? Oh, cat's out of the bag. Mommy made a really bad decision one time. At work? Or a series. I can't even say it was a one bad decision. Mommy made a few bad decisions. Kind of like in that book, how you like get to keep choosing. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So mommy made a few bad decisions and mommy had to spend some time in prison. How many hours? A lot of hours. Days? Um, a lot of days. 10? More than 10. 20? More than 20. 300? More than 300. Uh, 500? About, maybe. More than 300, less than 500. Let's say that. 400? Somewhere in between there. Wow, it took you that long just to prove yourself you're good? I know, right? Well, mommy should have did that. You don't even you know, don't know what that. happened yet. <laughs> yeah, you didn't tell me. Tell me. Mom, um, how, how does it feel to go to prison? For me, going to prison was very scary at first. We looked out for each other. But it was scary. I was sad. I was losing my family. You know? Mm-hmm. You needed this. I didn't know I needed this as I'm, much I'm as gonna, I did. When I grow up, I'm going to buy 1,000 of these. Why, why are you sad? Because you've been in prison. But that was a long time ago. That was before you was even born. I know that. Why are you sad? Mm -hmm, because I'm hard for him. I feel like it would have been harder if, if he was already here, for sure. So, you know, by the grace of God, you know. It was before. Yeah. Cause I can't even Thank imagine. goodness you got that much money before I was born. Right? Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. Would have been poor. <laughs> Would have been poor. <laughs> Let's see. Now I'm able to teach you right from wrong. Right? Mm -hmm. So now you don't go there. I would never. Right. <laughs> we would never. I think it was a traumatic experience. You're still unpacking some of it. It influences you in ways that you don't always understand. I think, you know, as you engage with it more, it's challenging, but there's also some, you know, some learnings and progress that's, you know, maybe, you know, is helpful for you. So trying to balance between, you know, processing it and being healthy and not letting it take you over completely. What do you have to say about that, man? What do you have to say about my scary story of truth and facts about mass incarceration? I mean, cheat whiz, fairy, it sounds like the whole kingdom's incarcerated or something. Maybe we are. Build the case to send us to the feds. They don't understand, we try and get it. Yeah.
tuck in his back. Didn't it. know if he was coming back. They left him cut to a hospital bed. My mama that? crying crazy thoughts in the head. Almost left my family traumatized. They been killing all kind of guys. If you're young and black, they won't let you slide. So tell them how you really, really feel inside. They let George kill Trey Vine. Now we can't breathe like air gone. They don't care if you break it on us. High judge ain't got no honor. Cause Willie Lynch still alive to his day. Don't know how we survive to this day. We should make movies, man. They will wipe us out if they had a way. And we're still slaves, what I'm trying to say. Look to the sky, to the Lord of above. 